once again, ladies and gentlemen, NASCAR Winston Racing Series stock car action. Coming your way tonight. Three divisions of uh, stock car racing. This, the limited sportsman division. Your four-lap trophy dash. These are your fastest four limited sportsman qualifiers. Going at it for four laps on the front row in car 74. It's Kenny Sward alongside his brother. Third fast time. Brand new ride for him. 08, Randy Sward. Second quick time. Inside the second row, your runaway track champion, it appears so far. Car 25, Jimmy Kidd. And on the tail with fast time tonight, Don Gregory Jr. Four laps, your fastest for limited sportsman drivers here on TBS Motorsports Auto Trader. Night at the races. And Kenny Sward holds the advantage over his brother Randy down the backstretch. Jim Kidd and Don Gregory Jr. in hot pursuit. They'll complete lap number one. Kenny Sward still out front in that car 74. They work through turn number two. They'll get the halfway signal this time. Two down, two to go. Now everybody bunches up behind Kenny Sward. Jimmy Kidd drops off the inside of the track, loses some positions. Meantime, Randy Sward moving back up to challenge his older brother. White flag this time. The Swart brothers go at it. Now Randy with a slide in turn two. Loses a lot of ground. Donnie Gregory moves up to challenge. Your winner will be Kenny Swart. Brother Randy is second. Don Gregory Jr. third. And rounding out your field, Jimmy Kidd in car 25. again, Kenny Sward brings home the bacon tonight in the limited sportsman trophy dash. Columbus, Ohio, it's Bob Grubal, Grubal in five, alongside 27, the D&J Furniture Illumina of Jimmy McCulley. Round number two, we find car eight, Tom Abram. And beside him in 30, Bill Huntley. And the third row, it's the red, number 55, Tim Rowenbeck. And 76, there was some confusion on my part earlier. They tell me this is Buddy Townsend in car 76. In row number four, car 15, Pete Gordon. And outside of Gordon in car 26, it's supposed to be, but he'll uh, lag back to try to get another time. 26, Gary Carter. Then comes 35, Dave Ritchie Jr. And 73, Mark Sermon. A limited sportsman first heat race. The Labor Day Championship sponsored by Auto Trader and TBS Motorsports. Bob, Bob Grubal runs second, Tom Abram third. Buddy Townsend off the track in car 76. They'll get the halfway signal this time. 
McCauley stretching it out now over Bob Grubal. Tom Abram, Tim Rowan back, Bill Huntley. McCauley looking for his first heat race win this season. This time, Tim Rowanbeck slips beneath Tom Abram, racing for that third spot. White flag for Jimmy McCulley. Bob Grubal almost spins in one and two, but he keeps it going. The winner will be Jimmy McCulley. Bob Grubal comes home second. Tim Rowanbeck third. Fourth is Tom Abram. And fifth, Dave Ritchie, Jr. So again, your winner, Jimmy McCauley in cart 27, his first heat race victory of the season. Sponsors of plenty on the car, including Segal's Automotive Paint, Torita's Pizza, Jake's High Performance, D&J Furniture, Floral Expressions, Advanced Air Heating and Air Conditioning, Patio Printing, Next Day Signs, in and in Electric, Ohio Trailer Supply, and fast racing engines. Eight race number two for the limited sportsman division. Starting first in 45, it's John Strobel from London, Ohio, and beside him in 77, Don Townsend, Jr. The second row consists of Joe Hill in 70, and then comes 86, Mike Holland. Next, we have car 29, Bobby Justice, and 20, Mike Brown. Then comes 13, Jerry Jones, 01, Jerry Buck, and... Um, Surprisingly, Don Hill Jr. starting a ways back. Eight laps for the limited sportsman heat race. times you'll see a couple of cars uh, lagging back a little bit. They weren't apparently happy with their qualifying time in qualification, so they lagged back so that we might be able to get them on the clock to see if they can improve their uh, breakout time. That, however, will not. It'll never move them up in a race. Uh, so, but they uh, many times lag back a bit and try to, we'll uh, clock them and that's what's going on with Jerry Buck and Zero Hill. All right, eight laps to go. The second heat race for the limited sportsman division. John Strobel streaks out ahead in that DuPont Automotive finishes. Car number 45. We see Don Townsend Jr. and Joe Hill going at it for second spot. One lap completes. sole possession of the runner-up spot. Strobel the leader. They'll complete lap number three, this time by start-finish. signal this time. Towns it 
off the pace on the backstretch. Bobby Justice up to third spot. Now Justice going after Joe Hill for the second position. But here comes Bobby Justice, a challenger leader. One lap to go. And Justice takes over in car 29. He started fifth. And he'll lead off the fourth turn, your winner, Bobby Justice. John Strobel is second, Joe Hill third. Mike Brown, fourth and fifth is Mike Holland. So your winner, Bobby Justice. Late Model Trophy Dash, the NASCAR Winston Racing Series Late Model Division, starting first in car number two from Columbus, Ohio, Bobby Bocook. Bocook in two, alongside in car number 92, also from Columbus, it's Donnie Renner. Renner with his fourth Trophy Dash appearance of 1994. Making up the final row, second quick time, Randy Maynard Jr. in car 39. And fast time tonight, almost a new track record, car 61. From Urbana, Mike Ward, four laps. Bobby Bocock a little squirrely in turn two. Puts a wheel mark on that brand new paint job of Donnie Renner. with the advantage. That new paint job doing the trick for Donnie Renner. He leads. Bobby Bocook is second. They'll get the halfway signal this time. Randy Maynard Jr. now strutting his stuff on the outside. He runs third. White flag this time for Donnie Renner. won the heat race the last two weekends or last two Saturdays here at the Speedway. He's into the Trophy Dash tonight and he'll win. It's Donnie Renner, his first Trophy Dash win this season. So Donnie Renner comes home first, finishing second. Randy Maynard Jr. in third goes to Bobby Bocock. Fourth, Mike Ward. Team Carlton Smith, 26. Bill Cantley and 83 Lonnie Rush. We'll have to see if Rush and crew have got that V6 sorted out. That car was uh, very slow in qualifying. Mike Simpson, the leader in the on the backstretch. Robbie Dean is second in car number 12. This is a 10-lap race, 10-lap heat race. Running third now is Carlton Smith. Robbie Dean putting the pressure on 
Mike Simpson, that's Carlton Smith third. Running fourth is Kevin Miller, fifth Bill Cantley, but now Cantley trying to scoot underneath Miller for fourth spot. see Lonnie Rush, that car, apparently running much better than qualifying. Now he is up to fourth spot in the Bob Evans Camaro, halfway this time. Carlton Smith closing in on your two leaders. the front. Now we see Carlton Smith slow on the backstretch. Lonnie Rush is third. A battle for the lead is Robbie Dean and Mike Simpson. Oh, Robbie Dean almost into the front stretch wall. Dean is off the pace in car number 12. Simpson back in front. But now he's going to have to deal with Lonnie Rush, who's closing in a hurry. The white flag this time. Rush right up on Simpson's back bumper. He'll look to the outside of Simpson in turns three and four. It should be close. It's going to be... finish Mike Simpson the winner Lonnie Rush finishes second so a close finish Mike Simpson by inches over Lonnie Rush Ron Freebus. The second row in 59, that's Burgess White, and 86 is Skip Thornton. Then comes Mike Denny in car number 98, Joe DeFelice in 44, and Jim Cruz in car number 99. All right, false start. Yellow flag is out. The front cars were not lined up as they come across the start-finish line. Bobby Edwards with the advantage, and we've got a false start again. So Bobby Edwards taking off just a little too fast on the backstretch. So we'll... Um, have, all right, there we go. They're a little slower through turns three and four. And a better start this time. Ron Freva still trying to hang on on the outside. Burgess White now up to second spot. Bobby Edwards still your leader. Edwards in that Tim Yonker owned entry. That Thunderbird is out front. Mike Denny and that River Racer nibbling at the back end of Burgess White and we got a spin. Joe DeFelice brings out the caution flag in turn number two. in this second late model heat race. Now Burgess White trying to sneak underneath Bobby Edwards in turn two. Edwards pins him off down the back stretch. Mike Denny 
still holds down third spot. Fourth now a toss-up between Ron Priebus and Skip Thornton. NASCAR Winston Racing Series late model action. Edwards with a little bit of a brake check. It looked like off the second turn. So far, Ron Prebus, the only one wanting to try that outside groove. But now Burgess White is going to try it. It wasn't his idea as Mike Denny moved inside. Now it's Mike Denny into the back end of Bobby Edwards in turns one and two. No white flag this time. Now he's going to try that second group in car number 86. Your winner, it'll be Bobby Edwards. A close race for second. We'll have to wait for official scoring on second place. Denny finishes second. Third, I believe, should have been, uh, I believe that was Skip Thornton. And fourth, Jim Cruz. So his first drive in the Tim Yonker own Ford Thunderbird, Bobby Edwards, your winner in the second heat race. First, from Seville, Ohio. It's the Iceman, Tim Ice. Beside him, a former track champion, car number 81, Don Wetnall. In row two, car number six, Jerry Mitchell. And alongside in 91 out of Zeno, Ohio, Scott Drake. In comes car number five, Mike Stacy. One is Terry Humphrey, and on the tail, the guy who will take the challenge, Danny Eaves. He'll go after that $4,000 Winston Challenge tonight. Ten laps to go. Tim Ice, your leader. Second, a close battle between Jerry Mitchell and Don Wetnall. Now Mitchell takes over the runner-up spot. He'll go after the Iceman down the backstretch. Mike Stacy is fourth. Eve started last. He's going around Mike Stacy now. Car number seven. Meantime, the battle for the lead. He's Ice trying to hold off Jerry Mitchell. They'll go door to door down the backstretch. Is up to third. Mitchell running that fourth groove way up there in turns one and two. They'll get the halfway signal this time. Eve's now beginning to close in on the two leaders. Mitchell now with the advantage in the fourth turn. Mike Stacy runs fourth. Now Mitchell, the new leader. Jerry Mitchell puts about four car lengths between himself and Tim Ice. up 
to the fifth spot in car number one. White flag for Jerry Mitchell. With his first heat race win of 1994, Jerry Mitchell. Tim Ice is second. Third goes to Danny Eves. Fourth, Mike Stacy, And fifth, Terry Humphrey. So Mitchell has one trophy dash victory this season. One feature win. And now to go with it, a heat race triumph. Starting outside of him, his nemesis, car number 70, the flying fat man, Heavy Hill. Row number two, the two combatants in the season-long points battle. Car 17 starts inside, Stephen Tuttle in this corner. In the other corner, car number 22 on the tail, your fast qualifier tonight, Donald Parsons. Four cars, four laps. The Street Stock Trophy Dash. They're swapping paint off the fourth turn. Hill with a hard left turn in turn one. He slams the door on Steve Tuttle. It's Bo Davis, your leader in car number 18. Donald Parsons still meandering out there in that outside groove. Hill to the inside of Davis down the backstretch. But Bo gives no quarter. Speaking of quarters, Heavy's trying to wear out Bo's left rear quarter panel. And that'll do it for Hill. He's out. Heavy Hill DQ'd. Your leader is Donald Parsons. Hill out for rough driving. Second now is Steve Tuttle. Your winner will be Donald Parson. Second is Steve Tuttle. Third, Bo Davis. So again, Heavy Hill out for rough driving. Donald Parsons the winner. Sponsors on Parsons car include Big JR's Towing, Steering Gear, Mangus Masonry, Talaferro Enterprises, Custom Builders, and Del Car Auto Wrecking. Also the Country Club Bar. The first street stock heat race on the pole in car number 10. It's Russ Harper alongside in car number two, that's J.R. Groves. In the second row, car 54, Richard Causer. And 99, that is Kevin Nowak. Then comes, let's see, 46, Carl Katz. 7, Herm Hundley. 92, Chris Dodds. And car number 12, Big Daddy Don Parsons. Also, Tom Bond in 52. Cushion row through turns one and two. That's Kevin Nowak. 
In second, he looks to the inside of Groves down the front stretch. Richard Causer runs third. But now Herm Hundley ousts him. Meantime, Nowak takes the lead. Kevin Nowak, your leader. Hello. Oh. Now it's Herm Hundley. Running third. All the way from the tail nearly is uh, Don Parsons Sr. Carl Katz is up to fourth position in car 46. Eighth way. Big Daddy moves inside of Herm Hundley. Parsons applying the pressure on your leader, Nowak. Oh, a late pass in turn three. And Big Daddy is your leader. Don Parsons Sr. now out front. Kevin Nowak is second. Herm Huntley third. Carol, Carl Katz fourth. They'll get the white flag this time. his fifth heat race win of the 1994 racing campaign, Big Daddy Don Parsons. No, Kevin Nowak comes home second. Third spot goes to Herm Hunley. Carl Katz is fourth, and Chris Dodds in 92 runs fifth. Gillum in 50 and 41, Jim New. Randy Tharp and Bobby Stacy make up row two. Then comes Bobby Atkins in 49. And 76, is that uh, Al Shire? Outside of the third row, I believe. Then we have Gary Lamer in 34, 79, Don Holland. 31, Jim Hersey and 88, Bruce Holmes. for the straight stocks. That's Don Gillum, your leader. Tharp is second. John Alshire spins on a backstretch. Alshire looking to try to get the fire underneath that car. Red flag, red flag. So again, we do not throw yellows in street stocks, but uh, if we have a car that is not able to get moving within about a half a lap. We throw the red, make sure that gentleman could get the, or get his car off the racetrack. He is uh, disqualified at that point. And then we reline him up and go back racing. Down, Don Gillum, Randy Tharp, Jim New, Bobby Stacy, your top four. Randy 
underneath Arp. Slips underneath Don Gillum on the restart. He'll lead down the back stretch. The halfway signal, four laps down. If there was an award for the most heat races won, it would probably go to Randy Tharp. He has won eight heat races previously in 1994. We got some major action on the front stretch. Got uh, Bobby Stacy trouble on that car. He's off the track now. Bobby Atkins will come back out on the back stretch. He'll be a lap in arrears. Randy Tharp the leader. But Jim Hersey is closing in car 31. A white flag this time. New is up to third position. But the winner with his ninth heat race victory of 1994, Randy Tharp. Percy comes home second. Jim New third. Don Gillum fourth. Gary Lamer rounds out the top five. Saturday night from Asheville, Ohio, it's Jamie Hunt alongside in 27. A wild qualifying effort from him earlier. Dave Dysinger on the outside of row number one. The second row in 36, Jimmy Romans, and beside him in 81, that's Rick Lawwell. Then comes Kevin Lococo in 77 and Paul Baker Jr. in 66. Car 26 is next. His birthday tonight, Scott Stevens, and Mike Schweier in 43. The final row, car number four, Phil Gessler, and 15, Norman Ackerman. Eight laps for the third street stock heat race. the leader in car number 93. Jimmy Romans and Rick Lawwell. A close battle for the third position. Kevin Lococo runs fifth. Into the back of Dysinger. Dysinger keeps it moving. Birthday boy Scott Stevens now moves underneath Kevin Lococo for fifth spot. Cross flags, they'll know this time by their halfway. Stevens now goes to work on Rick Lawwell. Scott Stevens up to fourth position.
Owens keeps trying to get underneath Dysinger, but Dysinger keeps it moving. Jamie Hunt still the leader. The white flag this time. Dysinger now challenging. Now Scott Stevens will make it three abreast. A lot of paint swapping in turns one and two. Your winner, it'll be Jamie Hunt. Finishing second, Scott Stevens. Third goes to Jimmy Romans. Heavy collision on the front stretch. We saw... Uh, We saw Kevin Lococo get into the front stretch wall first. He bounced back off and Rick Lawwell was unable to avoid him. The race is complete. I'll get you a little finish. We see Rick Lawwell, he's out of that car 81. Concern over the condition of Kevin Lococo. What we'll do is we'll complete the race, go back to the previous completed lap to complete the race. Your winner, Jamie Hunt. Dave Dysinger was second at that point. And uh, Jimmy Romans finishes third. Joe Hill. Alongside, the number is 86. Sponsor O'Manny's Pub. It's Mike Holland in 86, outside of row number one. The second row, card 29. It's Bobby Justice. And beside him in the WNCI 97.9 Pontiac, it's Mike Brown. The third row, in car number 13. American City's Driver Education, the sponsor... It's Jerry Jones, and alongside in 74, Kenny Sward. Next up, we've got uh, car number 08 of Randy, I'm sorry, yeah, 08 of Randy Sward. And outside, your current point leader, Jimmy Kidd. Car number two is next. The fast qualifier this evening. No, I, I take that back. Yeah, yeah. Car number two is next to fast qualifier this evening. Donnie Gregory. Then comes 01. Jerry Buck. John Strobel drives car 45 tonight. And alongside in car zero, it's Donnie Zero Hill. Then comes 35, Dave Ritchie Jr. Car number 15. Pete Gordon, 26, Gary Carter, 76, driver is Buddy Townsend, 55, Tim Rowenbeck, 30 is Bill Huntley, car number 8, Tom Abram, 30. I'm sorry, 27, Jimmy McCauley, 5, uh, car number 5, Bob Grubal, and 73, Mark Sermon. TBS Motorsports Auto Trader Labor Day Championship. A NASCAR Winston Reed. Justice. We see Dave Ritchie Jr. into the backstretch wall. He keeps it going. See damage on the right front of Dave Ritchie Jr. The black and blue number 35. It's black and blue on the right front corner too. Your leader is Bobby Justice. Apparently the 
upper ball, upper ball joint is out on uh, Dave Ritchie Jr.'s car 35. He's out in turn one. Your leader is still Bobby Justice. And second spot now is Mike Brown. Joe Hill trying to fend off Kenny Swore now for third position. We see Buddy Townsend slow on the front stretch. Townsend now pulling off, as is Gary Carter. Beginning to reel in your leader. Kenny Sward, Jimmy Kidd run third and fourth. Car number 08 is fifth. That's Randy Sward in 08. Justice around the lap car of Mark Sermon. Still Mike Brown in pursuit. Ten laps. Don Gregory Jr. is up to seventh spot. He moves underneath Joe Hill. lap car. Jimmy Kidd now moving around Kenny Sward for third spot. Jimmy Kidd is third. to fifth spot in car 01. Your leader is on the back stretch. Car 29, Bobby Justice. Halfway this time. complete this time. It's still Bobby Justice, Mike Brown, Jimmy Kidd, Kenny Sward fourth. He's getting pressure from 
Jerry Bucket, car 01. Justice's car, the, the rear axle, the rear tire getting into the front of the body, the, the quarter panel, front. to go for Jimmy Kidd. White flag this time. Kidd starts 
start at eight. He'll win the Labor Day Championship, Jimmy Kidd. Second is Don Gregory Jr. Randy Sward finishes third. Kenny Sward fourth. Fifth was Zero Hill and sixth Joe Hill. Those unofficial. I'll get you a top ten official rundown in a couple of moments. The fourth feature win of 1994 for Jimmy Kidd. This guy has not finished outside of the top ten in any event this year. Car sponsored by Rodney's Auto Sales, Roswell's Racing Engines, ASAP T-shirts, Cantley's Racing Parts, and the Machinist Union. Jimmy Kidd. We'll go down to Bob Neubauer for a word with Kidd. Well, Jeff, uh, he is as happy as that first one. This is number four, but I got to believe Jimmy on the, about the 25th lap of this one. It didn't look like uh, it was in the cars tonight, did it? No, it's St. Mike Brown. Oh, thanks, thanks, thanks to Mike Brown for spinning Bobby out. Bad luck for Bobby. I was rooting for him. But uh, I think all we got to do next week is qualify. We're going to get our first championship in about 15 years. He uh, is a little emotional. You said at the beginning of the year, that's what you were after. This is going to be the first time ever. And I think you're right. You about got this thing wrapped up with a win tonight. But uh it's got to feel strong all season long. You have not finished out of the top ten, I don't believe, any night this year. That's what it takes to be a champion. Kenny Sword showed me from last year. Kenny Sword's a true champion. But, but we've been in the top ten every week. Thanks to everybody for rooting for me. Thanks to all my sponsors. Thanks to all my friends, my family. George, thanks. Well, the flowers from Florida Express is a trophy. And I'll tell you what, it's uh, pretty emotional down here. That's a good part of racing. On the pole, in car number 81, from Miller's Ford, Ohio, Don Wetnall. Alongside the Columbus veteran, car number 6, Jerry Mitchell. The second row, car 91 out of Xenia, Scott Drake. And beside him, Enan, Ohio's Mike Stacy. In row three, car number one, it's Terry Humphrey. And beside him, in number two, Bobby Boca. 92 makes up the, or is on the inside of the fourth row. That's Donnie Renner. And outside, 39, Randy Maynard Jr. Then we've got uh, the brothers in law, car 61, Mike Ward, your fast qualifier, inside of the fifth row. And outside, in 65, Tim Ice. The rest of the field, Jimmy or Jim Cruz in 99, Joe DeFelice in car 44. Then comes your Winston challenger, Danny Eves. If he can win tonight, he'll take home $5,200. Car number seven, Danny Eves. 98, Mike Denny. 86, Skip Thornton. 59, Burgess White. 90 is Ron Freebus, 43 Bobby Edwards, 19 Carlton Smith, 29 Kevin Miller, 16 Mike Simpson, 26 Bill Cantley, uh, 83 Lonnie Rush, and uh, 3 Bill Wellman. Chez Round Oldsmobile pace car is off the track on the backstretch. We're ready to go for 75 laps of NASCAR Winston Racing Series action. Jim, Jim Hauer, meet your party at the base of the tower. Jim Hauer, meet your party at the base of the tower, please. Jim Hauer, meet your party at the base of the tower. Here we go, 75 laps. Wetnall and Mitchell lead them around. Jerry 
Mitchell, Mike Stacy second, Don Wetnall third. Good, he's fourth. Don Wetnall with trouble in car 81. Caution is on the speedway, Don Wetnall. Jerry Mitchell, Mike Stacy, Terry Humphrey, your top three. The battle for fourth is Donnie Renner and Scott Drake. He's up to 14. Car number seven. Drake and Renner continue to battle for fourth.
Authority Car 86. is a rocket off the corners right now. He leads Mike Stacy, Terry Humphrey. He's several laps there, a couple laps down. Mitchell holding the top spot. And we got a spin on a front stretch. Lots of fluid. Looks like the engine, the engine on Mike Denny's car has left the building. see the water on the front stretch oil something all sorts of fluid all over the front stretch that from Mike Denny's river racer and uh, there's a river on the front stretch into the turn two wall. Heavy damage on the right rear of that car.
out of Terry Humphrey. Randy Maynard Jr. is third. We see Scott Drake. Scott Drake out in car 91 on the back stretch. Tim Ice moves underneath. Randy Maynard Jr. Ice down third. And balling him through into full spot. Danny Eves continues his march toward the front in car number seven. He's fourth. the pace in car 39. Randy Maynard Jr. slow on the back stretch. The caution on the speedway. He's one lap down. Side of Terry Humphrey. Tim Ice right there. Company, Ron Freebus, the lap car. And Kevin Miller in car 29 to spin. Kevin Miller, the black 29 car. Continues to pressure Humphrey. Now Danny Eves puts the pressure on Tim Ice. Eves going after Ice in turn four.
laps to go this time. The battle for fifth spot. Don Whatnall trying to move on Joe DeFelice for fifth spot. Again, pressuring Tim Ice. Wetnall is up to fifth. On the move in car number seven. Continues to lead. Brenner is second. Danny Eves trying to move on the outside of Donnie Renner now. Eves going after that $5,200 payday.
Tim Ice now off the pace a bit there. Possibly out of the contention for the win, but not Renner. Donnie Renner continues to pressure your leader. White flag this time for Terry Humphrey. Leads Renner down the back stretch. Lap traffic ahead. It's going to be Terry Humphrey. Second is Donnie Renner. Third, Danny Eves. Fourth is Tim Ice. And fifth, Don Wetnall. Terry Humphrey starts fifth and comes home with a feature win tonight. His second feature victory of 1994. The car is sponsored by Larry Heiser Enterprises, Humphrey's Engine Services, Basil Oil, Skyline Graphics, Rocks Trailer Sales, m and Collision, uh, Pepsi Cola com Company, and also Virtual Racing at the Center of Science and Industry. Again, the second feature win of 1994 for Humphrey. The main event seven, $13,000 to win. Terry Humphrey fixing his hair, both of them and uh, getting ready to crawl out of that uh, car. Let's hear it for Terry Humphrey, your winner. We'll go down to Bob Neubauer for a word with your winner. Well, at this point, uh, Jeff, we got a guy who's catching his breath here and, and pretty happy. Terry, uh, right now, number two in points. This is your second feature win this year. Uh, this one, though, uh, you had to work a little bit. There was a freight train behind you for most of the whole way. Yeah, it was kind of tough. I was waiting for one of them to pull up on the outside of me there. I was just kind of running hard enough right there until the end to go ahead and go on. i got to thank all my guys that work very hard in the shop. We've got a couple new sponsors, Pepsi and uh, Coast Ideal. You all need to go down there. It's a great time. i got to thank my wife for seeing me through and all my guys. They work real hard. Well, earlier you told me these new tires didn't seem to make a big difference on your car. Uh, Looks like you're having maybe a little trouble in the corner or, or not? No, it's just a, a little tight. Right when we had started, it'd be a little tight, and then after we run about 10 laps, it'd get a little bit loose, and that's the reason I just couldn't accelerate hard off the corner. I just ran hard enough to stay there. Somebody come up beside me, and we went harder. Well, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, how about a big round of applause to the Liberty Championship winner, Terry Humphrey? And we still have one more to go. Second row, Randy Tharp and Bobby Atkins. Then comes Gary Lamer and Don Holland in the third row. Fourth row is Jim Hersey and uh, Bruce Holmes. Then comes Jamie Hunt and Dave Dysinger. Jimmy Romans in 36 and 66. Paul Baker Jr. Then the birthday boy, uh, Gary Carr. Gary, or I'm sorry, Scott Stevens in 26. 43, Mike Schweier. Car number four is Phil Gussler. Beside him, 15, Norm Ackerman. Bo Davis in 18. 70 is Heavy Hill. 17 is um, Steve Tuttle. 12, uh, or 22, Donald Parsons. 76, I believe that is. John Alshire, 12, Big Daddy Don Parsons. 92, Chris Dodds, and in car number seven, Herm Hundley. That's your 24 car field in the street stock. 30 lap. 
Labor Day Championship. Once again, if you're leaving, folks, uh, don't forget the kids' night with the free rides in the race cars. You need to have your child here oh, around 5.45, 5.30, 5.45 to assure that uh, they will get a ride in a race car and make sure they wear the long pants, please. Two weeks from tonight, the Fall Speed Fest. 75 laps of late model action for the Fall Speed Fest two weeks from this evening. And finally, the main event. Ding, ding, the main event. You get it? Ding, ding. Ding a ling. September 24th and 25th. Speaking of ding a lings, there's my wife. No, I'm... Okay, here we go. 30 laps to go. Spins on the front stretch. He's out of harm's way. That was a good movie, harm's way. No, never mind. Back at it. We got Jim New out front. And we got a caution flag. away from action. Don Gillum and Jim New. Jim New. A year later down the backstretch. Lots of wild action going on there on the back stretch. And we got Phil Gussler with a spin in turn. Oh, hello. Spin in turn number two. See Scott Stevens also spinning on the back stretch. And we got a collision in turn four. Red flag. Randy Tharp, the Victim. He's hard into the turn four wall. Jim New leads him around. Get some pressure from Jamie Hunt. Jimmy Romans and Jim Hersey make up that top four. Paul Baker Jr. now fifth in car 66. And Jamie Hunt now your leader. The second now is Jimmy Romans. Six laps complete.
with a big advantage over Jimmy Romans. Jim Hersey is third. And Chris Dodds collects the wall in the front stretch. Chris Dodds making hard contact with the front stretch wall, unable to get that car back underway. And Phil Gustler. Ten complete, twenty remain. behind your race leader Jamie Hunt Scott Stevens slowing in there slowing car 26 he's out of last Saturday's feature and uh, he looks like he's going to lead most of tonight's feature too. We'll see how he does in the final analysis. Still a lot of time left. And Phil Gussler Trouble with car number four, that car hard into the turn one wall. Looks like a tire loose or something on that car as he come down the front stretch. You see the car coming to rest on the in the infield. Emergency crew right there. We've got our Leif Irvin right there on the scene. Heavy impact. Also, Bob Neubauer is over there, so we'll get a report from Bob momentarily. 1,400 rem uh, 14 remain. Jim Hersey's car not coming back up to speed like he would like. He slips back about five spots. Hunt, Jamie Hunt still the leader. Steve Tuttle up to four spot in car 17. Singer 
putting the pressure on Jimmy Romans. The battle for second really heats up. Dysinger, Tuttle, and Donald Parsons all challenging Jimmy Romans for the runner-up spot. Ten laps to go. Jamie Hunt having it his way right now. Dysinger moves to second. Third is Steve Tuttle now. And we got a Jimmy Ru or Jim Hersey red flag spun in turn three. to go this time past the start finish line. And the infield takes the lead. Well, no, maybe not. It's Jill Jamie Hunt out front. Dysinger second, Steve Tuttle third, fourth, Donald Parsons. Up to fifth is Bo Davis. Steve Tuttle. Moves underneath Dave Dysinger. Looking for a way around Jamie Hunt. Tuttle to the outside of Hunt. Donald Parsons also right there. Dysinger is fourth. Tough break, Bo Davis off on the backstretch. Should be a wild one. Lap traffic ahead. They'll try to get around Mike Schwire. They make it around there. Still Jamie Hunt. Steve Tuttle. Hunt sideways. Tuttle takes over. Or does he? Cap Steve Tuttle, your leader in car 17. Now Donald Parsons moves around Hunt as well. White flag this time. Parsons going to try to do the high groove this time, but your winner, it'll be close, his third win of the season, Steve Tuttle. Donald Parsons is second, Jamie Hunt third, fourth goes to Dave Dysinger, and fifth, Jimmy Romans. The infield wins the battle of the cars, they end up with 13, the track 12, or 11. Steve Tuttle, he wins, but he doesn't make any ground or not very much ground. Actually, no ground at all. He loses ground to point leader Donald Parsons, but he still wins tonight. The Labor Day Championship. Tuttle was also the winner in the uh, Fourth of July Firecracker Championship. That was uh, Bobby Adkins. Here's your winner, Steve Tuttle in car 17. We'll go down to Bob Neubauer with a word with your winner. Well, Steve, uh, obviously this point thing's been close here in the number two spot, but this is win number three tonight, and it's not quite over yet, is it? No, no, no. It's uh, We're way behind, and Parsons is running real good. We're just doing our best. Three DNFs in the last three weeks ain't helped none either, but... Uh, yeah. 
This makes up for it a little bit. Well, obviously, uh, John was running your bumper all the way right to the end of this one. Oh, yeah, it was a real good race, real good race. I heard him all night long. All right, we got a trophy for you. We got some flowers for you. You got a young lady to get the flowers, or does your owner get them here? Okay, he says the flowers are his, man. He doesn't want to, he doesn't care. They're his. Jeff, uh, I think that's about it, and we'll take it back up to you.